Hi team! We're here today to talk about heredity and we're starting a three lecture sequence in different aspects of heredity. Of course, in a lecture called Mendelian Genetics, we probably want to spend a little bit of time looking at Gregor Mendel, and I will talk about him. But before we talk about Gregor, we probably should bring back our human life cycle to frame the context of what we're going to talk about and where we're going to spend our time. We've done almost every part of the human life cycle. We like we've looked at the process of meiosis, we've looked at mitosis, and now we're going to focus in here at this place where sperm and eggs combine. We're going to look at <clears throat> the rules that determine what our zygote is going to look like. This is going to rely on our understanding of meiosis. So <laughs> do, do I say this every time? If you don't have a solid understanding of the previous content, make sure you go back and get it before we move forward. Because meiosis is the source of genetic diversity that allows us to actually predict some qualities or um, observations about the offspring that we're going to produce. Okay, so we started with Mendel and uh, Gregor Mendel was this now very, very famous scientist, then completely unknown to everyone. He was actually a monk and didn't... Um, he wasn't a scientist. I feel like I read somewhere that he didn't even get to finish um, going to school, and but he really wanted to be a scientist. So while he was doing his monkly things that monks do, he also was super into plants, and he did all these crazy studies on pea plants. He basically made a gajillion pea babies baby pea plants, looked at the parent characteristics, and then counted pea offspring. And we're going to look at the, the research that he did and the observations that he made. Before we do that, before we look at his peas and sort of talk about what he, why is he in there counting all these pea babies, we have some vocabulary that we need to nail down, and it's vocabulary that hopefully will be familiar. We've hopefully seen stuff before, but we're going to start talking about genes and flavors of genes in a really um, very frequent manner. So getting a good solid basis with the vocabulary is going to be important. Okay, so let's do vocabulary first. <clears throat> 